have liftoff of and carry for an NG-15 mission in the Walrus Flight Facility. Engines are at 100%. Attitude, overboard pressures, and vehicle subsystems are nominal. The SS Katherine Johnson takes flight on this, the 59th anniversary of John Glenn's Mercury flight, carrying 8,000 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station. Good performance on the first stage so far. Engines at 100%, all systems nominal. We have Miko, and Terry's entering into a coast stage. Fairing separation will occur about 30 seconds later. As we lose sight of the vehicle, now switching to animation. Some controlled firings uh, on the interstage of the rocket. Attitude nominal, good separation. Twenty seconds to stage two ignition. Subsystems nominal. Fairing separation. Interstage separation. Confirm fairing separation and interstage. Stage two ignition. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two is a solid rocket motor burns for about two minutes, 44 seconds. The Philippines' second Cube satellite Maya-2 was successfully launched to the International Space Station on February 21, 2021. Aboard the SS Catherine Johnson Sinus spacecraft, the final step before it goes through deployment by the International Space Station, Maya-2 was designed and developed by Filipino scholars sent to the Kyushu Institute of Technology in Japan. This was made possible through the Space Science and Technology Proliferation, through University Partnerships Project of the Space Technology and Applications Master Innovation and Advancement Program. The Maya-2 was launched together with two identical CubeSats from Japan and Paraguay as part of the Northrop Grumman CRS-15 mission, all developed under Kyushu University's fourth joint global multination satellite project. The Maya-2 is also a technology demonstration and educational platform, developed for remote data collection through store and forward mechanism, similar to its predecessor Maya-1 which decommissioned on November 2020 developed and improved using the knowledge gained from the development of the Maya-1. This 1.3 kg CubeSat is equipped with a camera for image and video capture, an automatic packet reporting system message digipeter, attitude determination and control units for active attitude stabilization, and control demonstrations, perovskite solar cells and latch-up detection chip. When Maya-2 is deployed into orbit, the team will immediately start carrying out the satellite's missions. Nearly after a month after its successful launched into space on February 21, 2021, the Philippines' second NANA satellite was released to its targeted altitude in low Earth orbit from International Space Station on March 14, 2021. The three cubicets will travel around the Earth daily, primarily taking images of the Earth and relay information such as weather station telemetry and emergency announcements in the area it may happen to be passing over. However, the data from Maya 2 will be gathered by the DOST's Advanced Science and Technology Institute in Quezon City. As early as now, the Philippines can anticipate more Maya launches in the future. DOST's Advanced Science and Technology Institute and the University of the Philippines, Diliman's Electrical and Electronics Engineering Institute, Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology, Department of Geodetic Engineering, and the National Institute of Physics, have been the implementers of these satellite development projects with assistance from three Japanese universities, Hokkaido University, Tohoku University and Kyushu Institute of Technology.
with Maya 2 being the Philippines' fourth successful attempt to send a satellite to space in collaboration with Japan. This milestone continues to nurture the long-standing partnership between the two nations. Their primary purpose is technology demonstration, from which the learnings will be used as an educational platform. The three Filipino engineers were sent to Kyushu Institute of Technology by the Department of Science and Technology's Science Education Institute to pursue doctoral degrees as part of a scholarship program done in cooperation with the Space Science and Technology Proliferation through University Partnerships Project of the Stamina for Space Program. That's all for today, I hope you learned something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.